Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Let me ask you a question. Are you ready for some good news? First up this week, newly published findings suggest that we may be living in a holographic universe. Keep in mind when physicists talk about a holographic universe, they aren't suggesting that our reality is unreal or merely a simulation being projected on a holodeck or anything like that. Rather, it's a reevaluation of how we reckon the structure of the universe. In a holographic universe, the three-dimensional reality you and I experience would still be real, but it would emanate from a flat, two-dimensional field. The idea is difficult for us non-physicist types to really wrap our heads around, I know, but a new study conducted by an international team led by researchers at the University of Southampton concludes that there is a great deal of evidence that we, in fact, live in such a holographic universe. Just as much evidence as there is for more traditional theories. This is far from a settled issue, of course, and there are plenty of astrophysicists who think the holographic principle doesn't hold up. However, the authors of this study hope their work will encourage further study, leading to greater understanding of the origins and the fundamental structure of the universe. The study is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. Do you have to do that while we're shooting the video? Can you please wait until we're done? Just a few more minutes. Okay, thank you. Anyway, a new gene therapy has been proven capable of restoring partial hearing in mice who were born deaf. Scientists at Harvard Medical School and the Massachusetts General Hospital achieved this breakthrough by creating a reliable mechanism for delivering genes to hair cells, which are the ear's sensitive and fragile auditory receptors. Reaching the hair cells in the inner ear has proven extremely challenging for scientists working to develop gene therapies capable of treating hearing loss. The Harvard team solved this problem by taking a virus called AAV that is commonly used as a gene delivery vehicle to treat retinal disorders and wrapping it in a protective layer of cell membrane bubbles called exosomes. This protective layer also contains proteins that bind with cell receptors. The bubble-wrapped form of AAV, called exo-AAV, was found to be three times as effective as standard AAV at delivering genes to hair cells and was able to restore partial hearing in 75% of mice who received the treatment. The team's next step is to refine the method in order to reach a greater number of hair cells and restore even more hearing. And who knows, eventually this could be a standard treatment for giving hearing to people who lack it because of a missing gene. This study is published in the journal Molecular Therapy. Are you done? Is bath time over? Okay, thank you very much, I appreciate it. <sighs> Finally this week, surgeons in Toronto have saved the life of a woman who was hours from death by keeping her alive for nearly a week without lungs. The patient who suffered from cystic fibrosis was admitted to Toronto General Hospital's Medical Surgical Intensive Care Unit last year after a flu infection had caused her lungs to fill with fluid, realizing she would die without an immediate transplant, but that she was also too sick to survive a transplant at the time. Her doctors took a radical and unprecedented step they removed both of her severely infected lungs and kept her alive for six days until her condition had stabilized and a pair of donor lungs had become available. The surgeons were able to keep her alive for so long without lungs of her own by using a device called Nova Lung, which added oxygen and removed carbon dioxide from her blood. She received her transplanted lungs and her condition has been improving ever since. The surgical team is currently developing criteria to help them determine which patients in need of lung transplants would be good candidates for this revolutionary, life-saving procedure. 
The paper on this surgery is published in the Journal of Thoracic Cardiovascular Surgery. Physicists find new evidence that we are living in a holographic universe. A new gene therapy delivery vehicle restores hearing to deaf mice, and doctors keep a woman alive for six days without lungs so she can receive a life-saving transplant. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you found this one worthwhile. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.